So continuing with the series on the audio API, today we're gonna make an intercom and this is going to be our microphone. And if you haven't watched my previous videos on the audio API already, I recommend that you do because this is a beta feature and there is some stuff that you have to just set up. But you can also follow steps from this video instead. And like I said, this is a beta feature, so you have to go into file and then beta features and then you have the option to enable it from right here, the new audio API. Then you would press save, restart studio and you would have the new instances that were added in the update. And this intercom will also require you to have voice chat and you need to have the voice chat service in the explorer right here. Sometimes this doesn't show up and I don't know why, but once you have it, you basically just want to set the use audio API to enabled. And this enable default voice, I already talked about this in the video, in the voice chat filter ones, but this basically we can just keep disabled for now. And this option just creates voice chat instances inside of the character and the player. But I already have a script from the previous video. And let me just go over it really quickly. So we don't need basically all of this. Same with this function, this event. Since the only thing we need is basically this line of code right here, without the comments of course, where we create the microphone, the emitter, and set the emitter interaction group to mic group. This interaction group is also going to be used by the intercom. So this is all we basically need for this server script. But there is also another script that says a listener instead of our camera. It's this local script. And this allows us to basically hear the voice of other people. But we don't need to have the mic group right here with the listener. So I can just comment this line. So in short, this script basically just creates the audio listener instance and puts it inside of the camera. Then creates the audio device output which transfers the rendered audio from the listener to our device, which is currently my headphones, and then you just connect it through a wire. And that is basically all we need to do with the scripting. And right now let's just make the intercom. So this is going to be the microphone, and what it needs is another listener. So I need to add an audio listener, and then we just need the speakers. So to make a speaker, we basically just need a part. I'm going to anchor it and change it to can't collide. This is going to be our speaker part and this part needs to emit an audio that is transferred from this microphone. So we need an audio emitter. And each speaker you make is going to need the audio emitter that's connected through a wire. So we need to add a wire instance, set a source instance to be the audio listener and the target instance to be the audio emitter. So just to show it to you, I'm just going to name this one microphone emitter 1. And if I duplicate this part and change this one to microphone emitter 2, this wire, it needs to be connected from the mic listener, which is correct, to the duplicated speaker emitter 2, which is also correct. So that's basically all you need to do for the speakers. You can just have the emitter and the wire and then just duplicate the part. And I don't need this one right now, but I'm going to move this one out a bit further. And one more thing that I forgot about is that this mic listener needs to have the mic group interaction group set. Right here. And this emitter doesn't need it. So this one you can just leave blank. And of course I also forgot to connect these two through a wire. So now with the mic input, the mic emitter being connected through a wire, same with having the listener and the device output that's also connected through the wire inside of a local script right here. And with the mic listener having the mic group and this speaker, now whenever I speak to this ball, my audio should be coming from outside of this speaker right here. So I'm going to publish this place and open it from Roblox right here. Okay, and let me mute myself from the OBS now. So now, so now it's going to be my audio, audio. Only, only coming from, from this part right, right here. And, and if you're my master, you can you hear, hear me clearer. clearer. So yeah. Oh, yeah. So I am back in studio, and now let's just duplicate the speaker and put it, let's say, right there and here. So I'm going to have three speakers and I'm just going to start speaking and just move my camera around. So again, publish to Roblox and let me mute myself again. So, so this is this me is talking, talking right, right now, now. And, you can and you can hear, hear my audio from, from this part, part but, but let me, let me move, move to the right, right one. one. So it's also, also going to emit my audio. audio. So it's so going, it's to, going play to play my audio, audio inside of all of the speakers, speakers simultaneously. simultaneously. 
but there is few flaws with this system. It's basically going to listen to every person that's basically going to speak near this part and it's going to emit the audio coming from all of them. So let's just change that really quickly. And we've set it so basically whenever the player joins, they have the mic emitter, that's the audio emitter from the microphone. They have their interaction group set to the mic group. And the listener inside of this microphone also has this interaction group. But if we remove this interaction group, it's going to listen to basically all the audio and we don't want that. So what we can do, remove the mic group from the mic emitter and let's make a zone that whenever the player is going to enter the zone, they are going to be assigned. Basically, this mic emitter is going to have this mic group assigned to it. And you're going to make it so only one person is going to be able to speak on the intercom. And if you haven't watched my video on the zone mod tutorial already, I highly recommend that you do, because I'm not going to be repeating every single logic or telling how the zone plus works. But anyways, I'm just going to get the zone. So I basically just have the zone part right here right now, and nothing is really going to happen if I enter it. So let's just change that. So I have the zone plus module right here, and let's make a server script inside of the zone. This one will be just named handle player and I'm just going to move it on the side right here. So I can add a mic group name, which is gonna be equal to the string, just so I can close the script and just not get the group again. And let's also require the module from replicated storage. Let's also get the zone part and let's make the zone itself. Then I get the player entered and also the player exited. And right now I need an assigned player variable, which is going to be set to nil for now. Then I can do if not assigned player, then assigned player is going to be equal to the player. And then do the reverse, so if assigned player, then assigned player is going to be nil. Then I'm going to get a function. which is going to be get character from player because we need to look for the mic emitter instance right here and after looking for it we need to add the interaction group right here and remove it on the player exited okay now thinking about it this function should be get character there should just be get emitter so you do character is player dot character then if not character then return end Then we want to look for the fish side of class audio emitter. Then we do if mic emitter, then we return the mic emitter, else we return nil. So then we just do local emitter is equal to get emitter from player. Then if emitter, then we set the audio interaction group to so just be this mic group right here. I'm basically just going to copy this logic, paste it in, and set the mic interaction group to basically an empty string. So I'm going to just do a playtest in the studio, and I'm going to go to my character and the audio emitter. So whenever I enter this zone, it's going to change. Now it's on the mic group, and now it's empty. And just to demonstrate it in game, I'm going to publish this, and again mute myself on the OBS. And this is and my this is voice shot audio, audio again. again. Right now, if right I now move, if my, I move camera my camera to part, part you basically, you basically just can't, can't hear anything, anything because, because it's not emitting, emitting my, audio. my audio. But if, but I, go if I go into this part, this part I have the I have interaction, the interaction group, group set to, set to basically, basically the mic group, group, which is which emitting, is emitting the audio, audio from the speakers, from the speakers right, now. right now. And if, and I, leave, if I leave it, it's basically it's just going, just to, going stop. to stop. So I'm going to speak to speaking right now, and you can hear the transition going into the speaker part. And there is also this problem with you hearing the audio doubled and that's because you have a listener inside of your camera and also a mic emitter that's connected to the microphone which basically causes you to hear your own voice. And yeah, since we are creating the mic input and the mic emitter, like one possible solution that I have shown in my previous video is to just have a local script instead of the starter character scripts and this one is just going to look for the mic emitter instead of our character. So you do character is equal to script.parent I'm also going to rename this one to remove wire. Wait, what's the wire inside of the... Okay, the wire is inside of the mic input, so... My bad, this is gonna be inside of the starter player. And we can get the player instance through script that parent, but just in case this is not gonna be in the starter player, but somewhere else, we can get the player instance from player service. 
and this creates the mic input whether we have the voice chat service or not but basically people without voice chat aren't going to be able to use it but i need to use the wait for trade method right here to basically just wait for this mic input so this will time out and return nil if the user does have voice chat and you have the option to enable default voice set to true so as I just in case I'm going to do if mic input then wire is going to be the mic input find the shade of class wire and then again if wire then wire and destroy so we had the script enabled if I do a playtest and go to my player and the mic input right here it's going to have this wire that's connected from the source instance the mic input itself to the target audio emitter that's inside of our character. But if I have the script enabled, and now do a playtest, go to the player instance and the microphone, there is not gonna be a wire right here. And this also has a possible solution. Because of you removing the wire locally, you're not gonna be able to hear your audio, even if you are speaking to this word emitter right here. But other people should be able to hear it coming from the speakers. So that's basically how you make the player not be able to hear themselves in game through their own voice chat, but it also makes it so they won't hear their audio coming from the speakers. Because like this is the speaker right here that's also emitting my voice. Okay, so you can hear it, right? Yeah, it's louder. It's louder here. All right, that's good then. Thank you. Try going into this um, green zone again and try speaking. We, we will, uh, hello everybody. Okay. My name is Leo. <laughs> oh my god, hi Leo. Yeah, I can actually hear like you speaking in my right ear. That's cool. That's really nice. That's cool. Whoa. Oh my god, yo, it works. It's so nice. Okay. Yo, that's so epic. That's really cool. I like how it sounds too. Like, oh, you just stand here and then I'm over there and I hear you louder. <laughs> yeah. I also made it so only one person is able to get into the zone and speak. Ah, cool. That's Bro, <laughs> my next tutorial is going to be like, how to make it right through on Roblox. <laughs> how to make it that? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Hello, can I get a... Can I get a... How to make it right through. But anyways, thank you for testing again. Oh my god, of course, of course. Thank you for having me. Hey, no problem. So yeah, that is basically how you can make an intercom. And one possible solution to you not hearing your own audio from the speakers is that you could have a local script in the zone because you can also use the player entered locally where you are going to connect the mic input with the audio emitter only if you are inside of the zone. So you will just have a local player entered in a script with a local run context and also the local player exited. Then you would basically have the same code right here but instead of just destroying the wire you would connect the mic input Put, get the mic emitter and connect them right there. That will only make it so you're gonna be able to hear your own voice and your voice coming from the speakers only if you are inside of the zone. But yeah, if you found this tutorial informative then please leave a like, that would support me and the channel. You can also consider becoming a channel member if you want to support me more. But that's going to be everything for today, so thank you guys for watching and see ya!